What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Please do not say anything about my voice. My voice sounds horrible. I'm catching a cold or something, which is totally not good. But I'm going to make this video regardless of how crappy I feel. So I'm going today to the best review nail tech in my area. And I'm super excited because I've been wanting to go to somebody who is black owned, which she is, and she's an independent worker. And her her work is like real good on Instagram. So we feeling to see what it's like in actual life. Oh, it smells like fish over here. I am going to vlog the entire um, process of it. I already asked her, she's cool with it. I'm a block away. I'm actually about to turn down to get on their block, on her block. I can't talk right now. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to see y'all when I get there. I hope my nails come out fire. I picked a set where she basically has all control over how she's going to be doing my nails. I'm going to be getting a Valentine's Day theme because Valentine's Day is coming up. We feeling do that. And... I hope she finesse because I spend a lot of money and Lord knows I need to be spending no money. Hey right, y'all, <laughs> I'll see you when I when I get when I get inside. To where is my pictures? <laughs> I know I want two two glass nails. Um, so that's three dollars extra, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have like hearts and stuff? Yeah, I'll show you. So like maybe something like this. Okay, that's cute. Um, well the the hearts. Mm -hmm. And then. Like this. Like, well, the line and the heart, like that. You want the line and the heart? Yeah. Okay. I like one on. And, yeah. So, two glass and that line, and maybe some hearts under the glass. And I feel like that's enough. You want them all? Yeah. I feel like that should be enough for you to do your magic. Go. Okay, I can use it. Oh, no. Um. Firstly, I would just like to say how glad I am to finally have my voice back after being sick for a whole entire week. I thought I was cute here. I caught a glimpse of my eyebrow and I was like, ooh, who that? But, um, yeah, about the nails. So, she started off with dealing with my cuticles. We was bumping. Y'all can't hear it, but we was vibing. We was vibing. We was vibing. So, she started off with my cuticles, which was very satisfying to me because whenever I go get my nails done, especially tips, they do nothing with my cuticles. And then I just hate the way it looks with the actual nails. So, I was just telling her how much I appreciate her doing my cuticles and we were chopping it up laughing talking about everything under the sun this is so satisfying like it did not hurt she did not break my skin she was very very careful with doing this and i really appreciated the fact that she actually took the time out to do this with my cuticles then she filed down my nail so that everything was smooth and the surface was all set to go for the tip The entire way that she worked was so satisfying to me. Here she's putting on my nail, but she was making sure that the nail fit perfectly. You know how sometimes you get your nails done and then it's like that little piece on the end that doesn't quite look right, like it doesn't look like it belongs? None of that happened here because she filed it down to my precise size of nail, making sure that every nail was the exact size of my actual nail. And we are gonna start on glass nails. So there she's placing down the glass nail. I, was, I really love glass nails, but the nails that she actually use are very thick like they're thicker than the ones that you get in the nail salon and i like that side um so 
I don't want to regret it. So maybe like I want some um pointy and like some still well coffin. Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. So maybe like this long. And like I kinda wanna get them super long. But you know what? Which ones do you want? Points? Um whichever one you want. But like the way I like it is like if I do one pointy on one hand, I don't want the other one to be pointed. That makes sense. So but if you did this one stiletto, this one would be coffin. Okay. I get it. Yeah. So here for a couple more. Um that's Like this song, okay. Start, and then you find it so fast. Right. Like, what, what am I doing wrong? Why does it take me so long? Because they be rushing. Like, That's they've done it for years, but it's just like, it's not as good a quality as if you actually spend your time to sit there and finesse it. Mm -hmm. So. Fine, do it, do it 20 minutes and you're out. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> for me, it'd be taking mad long because they'd be acting like what I'm acting for is stupid difficult. Yeah, they don't like to be doing the difficult stuff. Right. They just want to put nail polish on and that's it. That is not okay. Like, and then they be yelling, oh my gosh, they're always yeah, yelling in like the yelling. Chinese spot. <laughs> not at me, they be yelling at each other. <laughs> like, it's like, yo, people came here to relax, and you yeah. up here yelling mm -hmm. at the top of your lungs. She messed up the gel so many times, and then she was getting mad because she was messing up the gel. Like, bro, you the one, <laughs> you the one, one messing it. up. Like, <laughs> and so she had to do the same thumb over three times. He putting them on cookie, telling you your fingers crooked. Yo, my finger is not. <laughs> It is not. Like, she tried to tell me this finger was crooked twice. This two times, I, last two times <laughs> I went to her, she put it all crooked. So here you're just witnessing her finessing the shaping of my nails. Like, you're going to hear later how grateful I am for this. You have the perfect fingers for square hands. Do I? Thank you. You like shape this part. Thank you. Trust me, I'll be looking at this as well. Okay, so this is like a half <laughs> of a centimeter off. <laughs> so uh, you need to fix this. Like, ASAP. That's why one of my biggest pet peeves. The shape? Yeah, like it being crooked or like too wide on this side. Or not straight on the top. I love this sweater. So pointy. They don't never make them this pointy. <laughs> this is pointy. Okay, gash somebody's eyes out. You're not pointy. Like, how would you do it? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do my nails. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to know what I do with my feet. <laughs> Fingers look straighter than what they are. Yeah. I probably should have ate a bigger breakfast because I was hungry. So here she's just filling in my nail with the color acrylic. There's probably like a different name for this, but I'm just call it a color acrylic because I don't know what else to call it. Um, and she was doing an ombre, and I really like this because I've always seen it, but I've never gotten it before, and I think they look so pretty. She wanted to put silver, but I kind of dictated the fact that I wanted red, so she ended up putting red hearts. But I feel like if she would have put the silver like she wanted to do, it would have looked so much better. But either way, it was still beautiful. You do it differently. They usually just put the thing and then put the acrylic on top. But you put the acrylic and then the thing on Yeah, because this, like, if you don't, I don't know if that's it, but like, that 
Next, she started working on the other glass nail, and what she did was she put like a red heart on the tip and then some silver behind it, and then put like the light pink on the bottom. And I thought that this was really cute, but for some reason, like the oh, red heart started to bleed, so she ended up taking it off, which you're gonna see later, and doing a different design. But like, let's get into the shaping. Did y'all just see that? So here you see she's taking it off and me, I'm still being fat eating my nuts. Whoa, pause. Um, yeah, so she took it off and then she started to do something else, which still ended up being very nice. Um, I like the original design better, but, but the equipment was not working with us. So I guess it was just not in the cards. Another thing that she was doing that I really liked, she was like mixing two different pinks on two of the nails to make it look like this pink marvelous type of appearance and I thought that was so cool. Like I've never seen anybody do that before so I thought that that was just awesome and showed a lot of technique. and I'm so excited. Little do y'all know my butt really hurts at this point, but it's so worth it. <laughs> the last thing she did was make my fingers look all pretty and took some beautiful beautiful pictures that you're about to see right now So I am back in my room and I'm going to be completely honest with you. It is about a week later and I never got to film the outro to going to the nail tech because I got extremely sick. Like literally right after I left the place and I got home, I got in my bed and I went to sleep and I stayed in my bed and in my room for about five days straight. I had a really bad cold and so I never got to film this and I apologize but I'm doing it now and I'm here to tell you guys how my experience was. Now the thing that I really liked about this nail tech was her patience like patience for me if you know me patience for me is a really big thing and if you don't have it I will catch an attitude and I am very particular and I I like to take my time so I don't like to be rushed and I don't like to feel like I'm rushed and I don't like to feel like I'm annoying somebody because I'm not having such a sense of urgency in any given task. So as soon as you catch an ad, so I'm gonna catch an ad to and now I'm gonna wanna leave. But she was very patient, especially with my equipment because I had my tripod and I had my small tripod to set it up so I could get these angles for you guys, you feel me? And also beforehand, before even going there, she responded to me very fast. We communicated through Instagram. So I knew that I didn't need to bring any extra lighting. I, I could bring my tripod and she allowed me to film. So she, Another thing I really liked was, one, she's black. I'm sorry. I just like the fact that she's black. And she's really young. Like, she's younger than I am. And I just love the fact that she has her own business going on. Like, I commend you, sis. <laughs> Now the experience itself, when I got there, I probably took about 15 minutes to set up. Where I was sitting, it was like the perfect lighting for you to see me and had like the curtain, y'all seen the video, it had the curtain behind me, so it was just like a little pretty, pretty background. And like, that is she, like I said, she was very, very patient. I'm gonna stress this so heavily 
on the fact that she was very patient with me because I appreciated it so much. So if you're watching this, thank you for being very patient with me. She was very accommodating, especially to me filming. She asked if it was okay if she could play music and I told her yes it was but for parts of when we were actually talking I asked if she could turn it off or lower it and she did just that with no issue. We actually had a conversation like I've been getting my nails done since I was probably like 13 or something like that. I've never had a real conversation with anybody who's done my nails. So that was a first for me. So we had we had engaged in a little bit of conversation here and there and then it got silent some of the time but it wasn't awkward. It was really chill. I didn't really give her a picture for reference. I gave her a few ideas but I really just wanted her to be able to explore and do what it is that she does because she is the nail tech and I am very particular so if I was to get into my particularness we would have been there super long. Now the timing I would have to say yes that was the longest I've ever had to sit to get my nails done but the amount of care she put into it, it really showed to why I had to sit there for so long. My appointment was for 11.30, I believe. So we probably didn't start till 12 because of me setting up. When I left, I believe it was like two o'clock, 2.30. I used, that's, you, that's like two and a half hours. Usually I am in the nail salon itself for two and a half hours for my feet and my nails. But just to get my nails done, it was two and a half hours and I've watched a couple of videos and apparently that's normal. It was it was worth it for like the care and the attention that they that the person spends on your nails is definitely was worth it and I really enjoyed it. Now I want to show you guys what it looks like a week later. I actually just broke one of these nails yesterday and I was so mad because I was just like, what if I break one of my nails before I have to record this? And that's exactly what happened. It's probably because I was thinking about it way too much. Um, but this nail broke because of whatever it is that I was doing. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like a week later. Now I really like this design. She really like, uh, this is my favorite hand. Okay, this is my favorite hand. This is my second favorite hand. The shaping. Oh my god, I forgot to say it. The shaping, like she was like finessing. Like if you know me, I am like very precise about shaping because I can look at my nails and if it's off, if it's crooked, or if it's anything, I'm going to be able to spot it. That's just how my eyes work. So the fact that she was finessing the shaping, when I tell you I can pick something out of my teeth with my stiletto nail, that's never happened. Like whenever I get stiletto, stiletto, whenever I get stiletto nails, they're never as sharp as I want them to be. They're never as pointy as I want them to be. But she got it very, very pointy. And I was so hyped. Like I was sitting there like, oh, yes. It's like just look okay I feel you yes thank you her place was fairly easy to find it was actually at her house which was pretty cool because it was very clean the bathroom was right there the heat was on it was cold outside it was cold outside y'all we are in February it was cold outside her heat was on I was so happy it was just a comfortable vibe I feel like I will go back to her I don't know how I feel I, the total came out to about $60 $65 I didn't mind paying that price because she is a nail tech and this is what she does and this is how she makes her money I don't I don't challenge people's prices let's just say it like that but for me to spend $60 every time I go get my nails done I don't know if I'm gonna do that so if I do go to her I'll probably just go once a month and go to a nail salon the other time overall I really enjoyed the experience I'm glad I decided to go to her I'm glad that I decided to go to a nail tech in general it's a different level of care that you give when you work in a nail salon and when you're trying to build your own brand so I respect that and I like that because that shows entrepreneurship to me I love entrepreneurs so if you are an entrepreneur comment down below in the comments and let's have a conversation Anyhow, I'm gonna stop talking now. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and lady out.